Sure. Hello to everyone on YouTube. Konnichiwa, YouTube no mina san. People assume that because a super intelligent AI might make decisions faster and better than humans, leading to autonomy. But it's a complex issue with many opinions. What you just saw there was what we built on the live stream on Friday. So today I thought we could just do a recap of it and go through how we kind of created this. So basically what you see here is kind of how I imagine this could work. So we just want to take a screenshot. We want to resize it to 512 by 512. As someone noted on the live stream, OpenAI is probably doing this automatic. But I wanted to try to do it ourselves to see if we can save some latency. Uh, so we're going to send this resize screenshot to GPT-40 for analysis. Uh, and of course we have a prompt. We're going to use the low detail, low resolution. Uh, so they have an option, they have high and low detail. So we're going to focus on a maximum low latency. So we're going to set this to low. So we're going to get an analysis of our screenshot. Uh, we're going to turn that into text, of course. We're going to feed it to a TTS. With a custom prompt, uh, we want to try to comment what is happening on the screen. So we're going to do some questions. We're going to look at Reddit. We're going to try to answer in different languages. Uh, and I want to add a new feature that I can kind of control it more just by pressing a key or something. So let's just get into it. So let's just start by looking at kind of how I set this up. And yeah, let's do some testing and some use cases. To write the code for a script, I wanted to try to use ChatGPT 4.0. That was kind of part of the Lime stream. We were going to do this together, right? So what I started with uh, was just going through my prompt, how I described the project in just pure text. Uh, I've uploaded some documentation from OpenAI of a script I want to build. So we're going to go fetch some documentation too. Here is the project description. What we want to try to do is to get the lowest possible latency when analyzing images using the GPT-40 model. We want the settings to be low as they can be, like low res, low detail. I want to use the pill image, that's a library, grab to screenshot the screen, set an interval to like 3 seconds as a .jpg. Resize the screenshot to 512 by 512 as a JPG and save the temp image to our folder name images. Can you write the first iteration of the script? Okay, so that's good. Uh, now I wanted to kind of collect some documentation from OpenAI. And I want to start out with uh, the vision part, right? So let's just go to models here. Let's click on GPT-40. Let's go to the guide here. Uh, explore GPT-40 with image inputs, right? So what I wanted to focus on was kind of what they have here that's called low or high fidelity image understanding. So if we choose the low mode, this will have a low res mode. The model receive a low res 512 by 512 pixel version of the image and represent the image with a budget of 85 tokens. This allows the API to return faster responses, consume fewer input tokens for use cases that don't require high detail. So that is what I wanted to test out. So I'm just going to grab this documentation, oops, grab this, grab this documentation and yeah, let's just uh, add this managing images too. So let's just copy that and collect that over here, right? So we kind of have that going. I also wanted to include some functions I've been using in a different project. So this is actually a function to actually analyze the images using the GPT-4 or model. So I think we're just going to grab this too. So it's always nice to use functions and stuff for your previous projects to just save some time. So let's also add that to our documentation, right? Okay, so now we have kind of saved that. Uh, I think we're just going to grab our prompt here, right? Uh, let's head back to ChatGPT and let's upload our documentation uh, in a text file, right? And let's paste in our prompt and yeah, let's just run this. Okay, so that was done. So let's just copy this code. I had a quick look at it. There are some things missing, but let's just paste it in here. And uh, I saw we were missing import uh, OpenAI. We need that, right? So the next part is I created a .env file. Uh, I'm just going to paste in my OpenAI key here, but we need to configure that in our code, right? So let's copy this code again. Let's go back to ChatGPT4. Oh, and let's just do my code now, right? Paste in our code. And then I just follow up with, I've stored my OpenAI API key in an env file in a var name OpenAI API key. Can you implement .env to fetch our OpenAI key, please? Okay, so let's just do that. 
hopefully now we will get the code included this .env yeah that looks good so you can see here uh, we imported .env load it and here's our variable that has our key so that's good okay so we can just copy that and uh, let's just double check if that looks good again we are missing import open ai we kind of need that though <laughs> uh, so that means i think we are ready to try this now uh, so remember this is without the voices so we just gonna test it out on uh, uh, the text-based version, right? And the final thing I want to do before we test it is I have kind of my custom prompt here. So if you see a question on the screen, answer it. Keep it short and conversational. So that is kind of uh, the instruction we give to the GPT-4 O model when it's looking at the images. So let's set the temperature to like 0.5 or something. Yeah, we can increase our tokens here. Let's say 1000 or something doesn't really matter too much and now let's try it out on just some question on uh, a screen right okay so I went over to paint I typed this out in handwriting this is not good writing can you complete the function def count num if num is to print yes else and then I just left it open so I want to see if it can understand my handwriting here and kind of complete the function so I guess it's gonna be print no right or something uh, so let's just fire this up now I had to add uh, import base 64 that's the only thing I had to change so let's fire this up now so python box.py so remember we don't have the voice now uh, but we should get in text yeah so you can see here is the completed function so def count num yeah that's good if num is less than 2 print yes else print no perfect so you can see it's just gonna spam this so it's pretty quick the latency is quite low and that means we are ready to move on to kind of the voice part, right? So yeah, pretty impressive OCR here if you ask me. So what I wanted to do next is just go back to our code. Let's just copy that. Let's head back to ChatGPT, right? And let's just do my code. Let's paste in our code now. And let's go grab some OpenAI documentation about the voice part, right? So let's just go back to the documentation here. Let's find speech to text to speech. Uh, we can grab this part, right? Just some introduction here. So let's just put that into uh, ChatGPT here. Let's go back. Next, I just want to grab this quick start part here because we want an example of um, a code, right? So let's just grab this. Also include this down here. And let's paste in this. So I just want to feed a lot of documentation here. Uh, supported formats I think we kind of need to instead of using mp3 but we want to use vav file so let's just grab this supported output formats into our documentation let's go to the API reference and see if we can find a example here so audio create speech so this is the response format so we want this in vav not mp3 so we can also grab some documentation from this just paste all of this into ChatGPT, right Okay, so now we kind of need our instruction uh, how we want to do this. So I'm just going to go, now let's add a feature to uh, feature TTS to read out the responses. I want the variable response to be played. So if you remember our code, uh, we want to play out the response variable here. That is the answer from GPT-4, all right. Uh, to be played, yeah, set a temporary audio file in a folder name audio, play it at the end of the loop using simple audio. That is what I've been using before to play the file. We need the audio file in .vav, not .mp3. Please fix this. So let's just try and start here and see if we can get it to work. Okay, so yeah, we have the audio folder. We have the temp audio path. That's good. We have the generate speech function. And we have the response format in .vav. Yeah, that looks good. We're just going to copy this code here. And let's just update it and see if it's going to run now. Okay, so we have an error here. So let's just grab this error. Let's copy it. Let's go back here and let's do just error. Paste in our error message and see if it can fix it. Okay, so there's something wrong with the TTS API is not being handled correctly. And it's going to try to recorrect that. Ensure the API call generate speech and returns the binary content. Uh, yeah, okay. So it's so nice to work with this GPT-4 so quick. So let's try just this simple fix here Save that. Let's go back to our paint And let's clear this and let's run it again Sure, here's the completed function 
Python def count num if num2 print yes, else print no. This function checks if num is less than 2 and prints yes if it is, otherwise it prints no. Perfect. So actually, now we have it working. So that is kind of what I wanted to do. So this is just going to go in a true loop and kind of look for questions, things to answer on the screen. And it's just going to keep continue doing that. So what I thought, we can actually try to add a button so we can kind of try to control this when we want it to look at the screen and answer. So let's see if we can implement that. Okay, so I just copied our code. I went back to ChatGPT. I pasted in my code here, right? And I just follow up with the instruction. Uh, this code is working great, but I want to be able to control when the main function is triggered by pressing control space. If I press control space, we run the true loop once. Then the system goes back to being dormant, waiting for the user to press the trigger keys again. Can you implement this? Uh, okay, so we got a code here. I just copied that and let's paste it in here and let's save that and yeah, let's test it out Okay, so now we can see press control space bar to capture and analyze the screen. Okay, control space So hopefully this triggers it and we can kind of control it, right? So that's good Sure, the function seems to be incomplete Here's a possible completion Python def count num if num to print yes else print no yeah, that works. So let's head over to, let's go to Reddit here. And uh, yeah, there are some Reddit posts. Let's press control space bar. And let's see if we get any response to this screenshot. Sure. The post discusses a Google DeepMind paper on advanced AI models and their safety implications. Okay, that was pretty quick. Let's do another one. Okay, so here we have an actual question. So control space. Uh, and so I'm going to count it. So let's just press control space. One, two, three. Four, five. It's a common concern, but AI making its own decisions autonomously is more science fiction than reality. Current AI systems are advanced, but still require human oversight and programming. Okay, so that was just five seconds from after I pressed control space. That was pretty quick, right? Okay, so now I think we are kind of done with this. So that worked out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. Seems to be doing exactly what I want. So let's just... Do a few things, test it out a bit more, and yeah, I think I'm happy. So let's try this. What is the color of the largest box here? The color of the largest box is yellow. Yeah, I think the latency is quite good, to be honest. So I press now. The color of the largest box is blue. Yeah, that's pretty quick, if you ask me. So that's no editing or nothing. Let's do a few language tests. Okay, so let's try this. Are you a sentient AI? Answer in English. I'm not sentient, but I'm here to help. How can I assist you today? Okay, so I got that. So let's change up. So let's do answer in Japanese. I can confirm. Let's do Spanish. No, pero estoy aquí para ayudar. ¿Cómo puedo asistirte hoy? Okay, that works. Let's do German. Nein, aber ich bin hier, um zu helfen. Wie kann ich Ihnen heute behilflich sein? Okay, and let's try Portuguese. That's quite close to Spanish, right? No, mas estou aqui para ajudar. Como posso assisti-lo hoje? <laughs> like I can't confirm, but it seems good. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty interesting. So we can do all languages. We kind of knew that, but uh, I just wanted to try it out. Uh, but the OCR is pretty good here. That's not so good handwriting, right? I know a lot of people ask asked about OCR, so I would always recommend GPT-4.0 for OCR. It is a bit more expensive than open source models, but uh, it is working pretty good if you ask me. So let's try one more thing. So I'm gonna change up the prompt to explain the concept of a system. Let's go back to our uh, initial system uh, visuals and let's try it, ask if it can explain it. So I'm just gonna press control space and let's hear it. For example, in the image you provided, there's a system that takes a screenshot, processes it, and converts it to voice. Each step, like resizing the image or analyzing it, is a part of the system working towards the final goal, creating a voice comment on the screen content. Okay, I guess that was fine. We didn't go into any details, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. And like I said, I don't have any great use cases for it now, but it's going to be really interesting when we get the new voice mode. We can alternate it. Hopefully, it will come straight to the API. So we can kind of customize this, make it do a lot of cool stuff. So I'm pretty excited. 
So this latency worked out pretty good. It's about four seconds maybe. Let's say we get it down to maybe one second. That's gonna be really cool, right? So yeah, hope you enjoy this. And I'm gonna of course upload the code to the community GitHub. So if you wanna join in on that, become a member of the channel, you will get access. You can download these codes and every code we do. We're gonna focus more on live streams going forward. So that's been pretty interesting. You can follow along while we build stuff. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day. And hopefully I'll see you on Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to a conference this week. Check out Norwich Summit AI conference. So yeah, other than that, have a great day and we speak soon.